In the name of Allah, peace be upon you, my dear students. Welcome to be with you uh, to explain the second part of Unit 4, which is talked about hormones with you, Ms. Amal Maru. Let's start. In the previous part of this lesson, we talk about what is the meaning of hormones and uh, takes some of the glands which are responsible for secretion of these hormones. Uh, for example, pituitary glands. Uh, but in this part, we will talk about the other part of this lesson. Uh, we must know other hormones and their function in human body. Uh, let's start. Part of this lesson, we know what is the meaning of hormones. Hormone is a chemical substance or chemical message that controls and organize most of the vital activities and function in the bodies of living organisms. And we can differentiate between enzyme, hormones, and the catalyst. We know that catalyst is the chemical substance that increases the speed of the chemical reaction. Enzyme, chemical substance that increases the biological operation inside living organisms. And now we will talk about another chemical substances in our body which are responsible for control and organize some vital activities and the function in our body. And we know that glands or the organ which is, are responsible for secretion, these hormones are called endocrine glands. And endocrine glands are ductless glands as they secrete their hormones directly in the blood stream without passing in ducts. We know that the endocrine glands secrete hormones which affect its own target cell, which are uh, away, far away from the endocrine glands. So blood is the only way to pass hormones through cells. We talked about some of endocrine glands in our body, for example, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, two adrenal glands, pancreas, and the two ovaries. And we know that there are many glands, pituitary glands, thyroid, two adrenal glands, pancreas glands, reproductive glands in male, two testes, where in female, to ovaries. We talk about uh, pituitary glands in the previous part of this lesson and thyroid glands. We know that when each gland secretes the hormones by greater amount or a smaller amount, this causes hormone disorder. For example, in pituitary gland, when growth hormone which is secreted by pituitary glands, decreases. What will happen is the person will suffer from disease which is called, is called dwarfism. And by increasing the growth hormone, the person will suffer from gignatism. A second gland is which is called thyroid gland. A thyroid gland secretes two types of hormones. One of them is calcitonin hormone and the other is called thyroxine. Thyroxine is responsible for food stimulation. Like what will happen when the secretion of thyroxine decreases inside our body? It causes symbol greater. When the amount of thyroxine hormone increases, what will happen is exothymic greater. Now we will talk about the third glands, which is called two adrenal glands. We will talk about its location. Where is two adrenal glands? They are located adhering to the top of kidney. This means that they are found in the top of the kidney, as you see in the picture. And what, is, what are the hormones which are secreted by two adrenal glands? Secretion or they secrete adrenaline, adrenaline hormones 
Adrenaline hormones or adrenaline, adrenaline hormones, what is its function? It is very important to hormone inside our body. Why? Because it secreted, is secreted during emergencies. Why? To activate some organs to respond about any external factor as fear, anger, and so on. Another part about the, the two adrenal glands, what is the uh, type of hormones which is secreted by two adrenal glands is called adrenal uh, hormones. El adrenal hormones, what is the importance of it? El adrenal hormones, it stimulates the body's organs to respond to emergencies like fear, anger, and emotion. In previous part of this lesson, we talk about the third glandus, which is called two adrenal glandus. What is the location of these glandus? Adhering kidneys or adhering is the top of kidneys, they secrete adrenaline hormones, which is responsible for stimulating the body's organ to respond to emergencies like fear, anger, and emotion. Now we will talk about the fourth gland. In front of you is a picture of the fourth gland. What is the name of this gland? It's called Pancreas gland. The pancreas gland. Pancreas gland is very important in our body. Type. Where is pancreas gland? In front of you, is a picture of pancreas gland. It is located between a stomach and the small intestine. What is the hormones which are secreted by pancreas? Pancreas secretes two hormones. One of them is called insulin and glycogen hormone. The two hormones which are secreted by pancreas gland, insulin hormone and glycogen hormone. What is the importance of insulin hormone? An insulin hormone Reduce the level of glucose sugar in the body. When we eat some sweet, so our body have glucose by a great amount. So glucose level increases in the blood. What will happen? Pituitary gland secretes activating hormones to pancreas to secrete insulin, which is which reduces the level of glucose sugar in the blood and store glucose in a form of glycogen in the liver. If again, the insulin hormone reduces the level of glucose sugar in the blood by stimulating body cells to use glucose as a source of energy. Liver cells to store glucose sugar that increases in the body in a form of glycogen. Again, if I have the insulin hormone, reduce the level of glucose sugar. How? Number one, stimulating body cells to use glucose as a source of energy. Then, stimulating liver cells to store glucose sugar that increases in the body in a form of glucose, glycogen. What happens when the level of glucose sugar increases in increases in the blood? It increases the level of glucose sugar in the blood. The, the second hormone, which is called glycogen hormone, is responsible for increases the level of 
glucose sugar in the blood. How? I by stimulating liver cells to convert the stored glycogen into glucose sugar that releases into the bloodstream to be available to body cells. This means that pancreas has two hormones. One of them acts when the level of glucose increases in the blood, which is called insulin. That reduce this level how number one by stimulating cells to use glucose as a source of energy number two stimulating the liver to store glucose in a form of glycogen in liver but then the level of glucose decreases in blood type what happens Glucogen is secreted by pancreas. Why? To increase the level of glucogen. How? By stimulating the liver cells to convert the stored glycogen into glucose sugar that releases into the blood stream to be available to the body cells. This means that the function of insulin is the opposite to the function of glucogen. How? The insulin reduces the level of glucose in, in blood, but glucogen increases the level of glucose in the blood. So, being curious is a mixed gland. Number one, double function. Being curious is double function and is mixed gland type. We will answer the first question. Why being curious is a mixed gland? Because it acts as ductless gland. This means that it has no ductus for secretion of hormones, which they secreted uh, these hormones in the blood directly. Because it acts as ductless gland, which secretes insulin and uh, uh, glycogen hormones that regulate the glucose sugar level in the blood and it also secretes digestive juices. يبقى الأول هي عملت الكلوكوجين والأنسولي كمان secretes digestive juices that help us in digestion process through a duct. طيب الdigestive juices رايحة فين للسمول انتستين يبقى has duct which feed on البنكرياتيك juices هنا feed on, complete the digestion process, and digest fat. So, being curious is a mixed gland, as it means ducts and ductless gland. Ductless because it secretes insulin and the glycogen hormone to blood directly. Why? Duct gland because it secretes pancreatic juices or digestive juices to small intestine. What will happen when the secretion of insulin or glycogen decreases or increases? It causes hormone disorder. If a disorder in the secretion of insulin, what happens? It causes diabetes. What is the meaning of diabetes? Increase the level of glucose in the blood. Increase the level of glucose in the blood. That is the meaning of diabetes. If a diabetes is a disease caused by decrease in the secretion of insulin, so the level of glucose increases in the blood and its existence with the urine. If I have a diabetes in the insulin, has a decreasing. فبالتالي حصل increasing the level of glucose in blood. طيب. It causes diabetes, which is a increase in the glucose sugar in the blood and decrease insulin. That is the reason. يبقى أنا هنا عندي السبب إيه؟ Decrease in the secretion of insulin hormone, which leads to the cells are unable to use glucose. 
طبعا فور انرجي السيمبتومز الاعراض ايه قال لي فيلينج فيري ثيرستي اند مالتيبل يورينيشن تايمز يبقى انا عندي هنا تو سيمبتومز عرضين العرض الاول هو ايه قال لي فيلينج فيري ثيرستي نمبر 2 مالتيبل يورينيشن تايم يبقى احنا اتكلمنا النهارده على كام جلاندس تو تو ادرينال جلاندس وعندي بنكرياس جلاند البنكرياس جلاند اتفقنا ان هي سبيشال جلاند which secretes digestive juices so it is called duct gland and secretes two types of hormones so it is called ductless gland and secretes two types of hormones which are called insulin and glucagon but now we will talk about the fifth gland which is called reproductive glands طب تعالوا نتكلم على reproductive glands reproductive glands can be classified into two types number one two testes in male number two two ovaries in female تعالوا نبدأ بال two testes the two testes glands in front of you secretes Creates hormones which is called testosterone. Testosterone, testosterone hormone responsible for what? What is the importance of it? Testosterone hormone responsible for appearance of male secondary sex characters. مسؤول عن ظهور ظاهر البلوغ عند الذكر. يبقى انا هنا عندي هرمون which is secreted by two testes which is called testosterone هرمون which is responsible for appearance of male secondary sex characters second type of glands ovaries two ovaries As you see in the picture, they secrete two hormones, not one. If a two testes secretes only one hormone, while the two ovaries secretes two hormones. They secrete two hormones. One of them is called estrogen, and number two, progesterone. If I have here two hormones which are secreted by two ovaries, number one, estrogen, number two. Progesterone. What is the importance of each one? Estrogen hormone responsible for the appearance of female secondary sex characters as testosterone in male. The progesterone hormone promotes the growth of endometrium. What is the meaning of this? This means that each one has a special function. Estrogen, appearance of secondary sex characters, as softness of sound in female. While progesterone hormone promotes the growth of endometrium. The endometrium is the lining of uterus. Lining of uterus is the bone of the uterus. Okay. Let's go on to talk about. Science, technology, and society. إيه اللي إحنا بنستخدمه أو اللي إحنا بناخده ده أكيد لي application. إيه ال application اللي ممكن أستخدمه في الجزء اللي فات ده هيبقى على the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland in the body of the dwarf person. يبقى أنا هقدر أعمل treatment to the dwarf person. How? اللي هنا عندنا أبدأ أحدد the reason. What is the reasons of dwarfs? The pituitary gland in the body of dwarf person secretes extremely small amount of growth hormone. If I have an additional reason, secretion of growth hormone by small amount. So in the past, the scientists treated this people how 
by injecting human growth hormone extracted from new dead corpses in the children's bodies with not enough growth hormone. Fine. If I have an injection, the growth hormone come from dead children bodies. أو هنا هيحصل لهم this recently. But scientists faces two problems. What are these problems? Number one, the amount of growth hormone which is come from a children bodies is not enough to inject this person or to treat this person. What is the another problem which faces scientists. Maybe the growth hormone contains microbes, which is come from the children's bodies. Okay, so we can't use this way. Okay. Only the amount of growth hormone obtained by this method were extremely not enough. There is another problem. In addition to possibility of containing some microbes which may cause infection by virus diseases. So what happens? In 1979, by genetic engineering technology, scientists manufacturing am enough amount of human growth uh, uh, hormone. Why? And then uh, by inserting, I have to go inserting human gene that carries instruction for information of human growth hormone into DNA nucleic acid of bacterial cell. يبقى الخطوة التمثل في إيه؟ takes gene which is uh, which carries the instruction uh, for information of human growth uh, hormone to DNA nucleic acid of bacterial cell. After that, bacterial cell make some division and uh, produce a great amount of growth hormone. So in this way, they were able to produce and collect large amounts of human growth hormone by great number of bacteria. Then this hormone was refined and tested. And how many take the gene that carries instruction about growth hormone, then hmm, injecting or inserting this gene in DNA of bacterial cell. After that, bacterial cell make some division to produce a great amount of growth hormone, which was refined and in 1985, the researches conducted on this hormones provide its validity for the human use to treat the children of the limited growth. If I have a person who suffered from dwarf, can be treated by this way. الطريقة اللي قدامي الصورة قدامي اهي واضحة احنا عندنا المفروض ان انا هاخد هنا عندنا البكتيريال سيل هبدا اعمل سيبريشن للدي ان اي من البكتيريال سيل اهو هاخد الجين which responsible or carries instruction about growth hormone هعمل inserting زي ما انت شايف اهو يبقى انا خدت الدي ان اي بتاع البكتيريال سيل اللي هو باللون الاحمر بعد كده هعمل له inserting للجين باللون البلو طيب هو موجود فين في البكتيريال سيل البكتيريال سيل دي هسيبها تعمل ديفيجن زي ما احنا شايفين هتديني جريت اماونت اوف جروس هرمون وهبدا اخد اعملهم انجكشن لدوارف بيرسون ان ذس بارت وي هاف فينيشد يونت 4 اند سكند سمستر But now we will ask you some question about unit four, and we will answer the question of Rowan. Uh, first question, 
mentions the scientific term. Number one, chemical message that controls and regulates the activities and the function of most of the body organs. What is the scientific term of this statement? If it is a chemical substance, طيب نشوف الانسر بتاعتنا يبقى انا عندي هنا الكيميكال ماسج اور كيميكال سبستانس ذات كنترولز اند ريجوليتس اكتيفيتيز اند ذا فانكشن اوف موست بادي اورجنز از كولد هرمونز اورجن سيكريتينج هرمونز ان هيومن بادي طبعا اندوكرين جلاندز ذا ريزلت وين وان اوف اندوكرين جلاندز دازنت ورك بروبابلي It's called a hormone disorder. M. Number two, put yes in front of the correct statement and the correct is the underlying word in the fourth one. Question number one. Thyroid secretes hormone that organize the growth and the development of sexual organs in human body. يبقى هنا عندنا بنقول organize the growth and the development of sexual organs in human body. This statement is correct or no? No, it's wrong. Yes. طيب. مين اللي هتعمل organize the growth and development of The sexual organs in human body, طبعاً, instead of thyroid, active beauty tree glands. Number B, the calcitonin hormone controls the level of both calcium in human body. Levels of calcium in human body. This statement is correct. If I have the calcitonin hormone controls the level of calcium in human body. The last one, glucagon is secreted by pituitary gland. طبعا الكلوكوجين secreted by being curious. يبقى الجملة دي ايه خلط. يبقى انا هشيل هنا pituitary وحط being curious. تمام وطبعا هنا بين الثيرويد هاخد بيوتيتريك لاند كومبليت ذا فولوينج سنتنسز ذا سبيس هرمون از سيكريتد وين ذا ريت اوف جلوكوز شوجر انكريزز ان بلاد وات از ذا نيم اوف ذس هرمون الانسولين هرمون از سيكريتد وين ذا ريت اوف جلوكوز شوجر انكريزز ان بلاد طيب لو انا قلت سبيس هرمون از سيكريتد When the rate of glucose sugar in decreases in the blood, hyper glucogen. Number B, dwarfism is a disease caused by decrease of secretion of space hormone. طبعاً, yes, بروف عليكو growth hormone. بتاعك روان اللي انتي جبتوه لنا طبعاً وصلني الحلقة اللي فاتت. بس ما كانش في الجزء اللي احنا بنشرحه هو في جزء النهارده بيقول ان البلاد كاريز جلوكوز شوجر منين لفين؟ من السمول انتستن تو ليفر طيب من السمول انتستن يبقى ده ايه؟ هيتم الدايجستشن بروسيس يعني انا هاخد الجزء من الجلوكوز اللي انا محتاجه لجسمي طيب والباقي هيخزنه فين؟ قال لي ستورد ان ذا ليفر طيب انا هاخد ايه؟ الكميه الكبيره كلها منين؟ من السمول انتستين هتتخزن في الليفر وبعد كده هترجع تيجي جزء صغير بس اللي انا ممكن ايه اخده طيب هنا بنقول يا ترى مين فيهم اللي هيبقى عنده طبعا ده فين وده فين ليه ده فين وده فين لانه كام اوت فروم بارتس اوف ذا بادي الهابتيك وعندنا الهابتيك بورتال فينز والهابتيك فينز طبعا ده جاي من السمول انتستن وده المفروض خارج من الليفر بيقول which vein contains the blood carries 30 mg of glucose ومين اللي carries 100 يبقى انا المفروض اللي هنا في السمول انتستن 
اللي رايح يعدي على الليفر علشان يتخزن يبقى هنا ده اكبر كميه يبقى انا عندي هنا الهيبتك بورسل فينس كاريز 100 ملغ اوف جلوكوز عشان اعمل ايه ستور هيت ان ذا ليفر طيب بعد ما اخزنه ها انا ممكن استدعي كميه صغيره انا عايزها منين بعد ما تعدي من الليفر يبقى انا هاخد ايه ها 30 ملي جرام تمام تمام يبقى احنا كده فهمنا يبقى انا عندي هنا زي ما بقول انا عندي كميتين للجلوكوز المفروض ان انا لما باكل الاول بيوصل الجزء بتاعي او الشوجر بتاعي بيوصل اوصل للسمول انتستن ده كميه الجلوكوز كلها خلاص هتعدي فين في بالدم في الفين ده يبقى بنفس كميه الايه الجلوكوز اول ما توصل عند الليفر يحصل لها ستور تتخزن فبالتالي نسبه الجلوكوز هتقل فاللي هيبقى موجود متبقي في البلط هيبقى قد ايه 30 يبقى انا هنا ده هيبقى في ال 100 ملي جرام عشان في طريقه لمين في طريقه للليفر يتخزن اللي هيخرج من الليفر اللي هو هيبقى المنسوب الموجود الطبيعي في البلط اللي هو هيبقى ايه 30 ملي جرام يا رب يكون فهمتي يا روان السؤال بتاعك تمام طيب ان شاء الله باذن الله هقابلكم في الفاينل ريفيجن كده احنا خلصنا شرح الفور يونتس اتكلمنا النهارده على الهرمونز برضو الاندوكرين جلاندز اتكلمنا على سم تايبز اوف جلاندز ان شاء الله هيبقى مقابلتنا الاسبوع القادم في ريفيجن هناخد طبعا الريفيجن بتاعتنا جنرال وممكن على كل يونت هناخد ريفيجن خاصه جهزوا نفسكم ان شاء الله المره اللي جايه احب ان انتم تكونوا مذاكرين كويس عشان لما نبدا نعمل الفاينل ريفيجن تبقى الدنيا كويسه معانا at the end of this lesson i ask you for listening with you سامع المعروف good night and peace be upon you